So now we're all right. Hi guys, you're speaking to Dom and I, and this is the end of our first night of our, our sorry, the start of our first night. We started our trek early this morning. We eventually got to the Umbo Gate at about 11 o'clock, and after we'd sorted out all our packing and our porters and met the 10 people that were keeping us company, we, we were on our way at about half past 11 this morning. Um, we have 10, 10 people, as I said, supporting us. There are six porters who are carrying our stuff. There's a guide, there's an assistant guide, there's a chef, there's a waiter. And who also is a porter as well. Who's also, yes, the waiter yeah. doubles up as a porter. And there's a um, toilet guy. Who we paid $100 for. <laughs> yes, we, were, we yeah. paid $100 to have our own private toilet. And, and now that we've arrived at our first camp and looked at the toilet facilities, we are extremely grateful that we paid this probably the best $100 we've spent, <laughs> um, even if we only use it once or twice each over the next six days. Um, the first day, we, so we hiked for about four and a half hours in total. We did, mm -hmm. I think, 12 k's, they said. And we went from just under 2,000 meters to 2,850 meters in ascent. So it was tough, but um, but bearable. And, and I think both and I, both Dom and I are feeling quite strong there after that first day. The camp is it's extremely wet and muddy, which makes it a bit uncomfortable. Um, but I think from tomorrow we'll be in a more rocky, dry area, which is which is great. Um, I think, yeah, at the moment no problems altitude-wise, um, but we're only at 2,850 meters. Um, but it is cold. Um, it's going to get down to about 2 degrees um, tonight. I think it's already um, 2 degrees. Yeah, it does feel like yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Um, but we are living in luxury. Um, we have, um, we're now sitting in like a little patio area of our tent, um, quite snuggled in. Yeah. Um, you can hear a lot of noise in the background, the porters and the guides and that are still chatting. And Another late group just arrived and they're busy setting up their tent yes, in the yeah, dark. So there's yeah. a bunch of um, Czechoslovakians have just arrived and they're setting up next door. They're, they're very late. And, and very some cool. Goldberg person from America. Yes. He, yeah, he was very proud of his surname. <laughs> yes. He's part of that group as well. Yeah. Um, but we'll set up our tent or our sleeping area just now and sort of out our bags. I think everything is is set for the for tomorrow morning. They're going to wake us up at six o'clock, and probably by seven thirty we'll have had breakfast and packed everything, and we'll be on our way again. Tomorrow we'll be going from two thousand eight hundred to three thousand nine hundred meters, um, so it's going to be quite a change in difference. And I think from three thousand meters onwards is when the altitude sickness potentially starts hitting you. So we'll yeah. know tomorrow night how we're feeling. Um, but so far so good. It's been a great day, and we look forward to keeping you updated over the next six days until we get to the summit. Yeah. So it's good night from both of us, and chat again tomorrow. Cool. Good night. Yes. Uh, uh, today we are on our second night in the mountain. It's the 27th of June, 2018, obviously. Um, and we are at in our tent right now at Barranco Camp, or Barranca Camp, which is the second night, so it's very cold. Today we had a nice hike, actually. It was very steep. We're at 3,900 meters from 2,850. Um, but today was actually a very nice hike. We're in like the bush with a lot of uh, trees. You'll see pictures of what I'm talking about. They went very tall, but they had lots of beards, old man beards on them. You'll see the pictures, they explain everything. Uh, but yeah, it was very nice. It was very steep and it got quite hot after a while. As soon as you got, but as soon as you sat down or stopped moving and got into the shade, you, know, you could feel the cold actually. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, it was quite a nice hike. We hiked for about almost five hours. Um, and we got our first proper view. Yeah, we got our first proper view of Kilimanjaro, which was the peak, which was actually very nice. Uh, there was no clouds or anything today, so we could see everything. Yeah. It was very nice weather. Lots of snow. Yeah, we, yeah, there's lots of snow on the peak. And yeah, our, the camp is very busy today, actually, compared to yesterday. There's lots of people, uh, but not really from Umbe route, most of them are from the Chami route or wherever. I'm yeah. Not sure. okay. uh, um, and. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. just about it. Uh, and we've eaten well. Yeah, we ate a lot. We had yeah, we woke up to pancakes, uh, toast, egg, fried egg, uh, yeah, yeah so sausages, <laughs> uh, porridge even. Yeah. And we had uh, a small packed lunch. Then we got here and had lettuce <laughs> soup, which was also quite nice, uh, surprisingly. And then after the lettuce soup, we had what do we have? 
Uh, the omelet with oh, we had omelet with spaghetti massive. on it. Yeah, that looked and, like pizza. Uh, yeah, with tomato and cucumber. I took that off. Uh, not the cucumber. Uh, <laughs> and also with green pepper. I took that off as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was very nice. It was in like a pizza shape. I thought it was a pizza in the beginning, so we had to cut it. Uh, yeah. and it was very nice. And then, and dinner. then for dinner we had uh, some more soup. Like yeah. We, yeah, we had some more. No, no soup. No, we didn't have soup. We had. Um, just donut bread. Yeah, we had like a donut bread and abba. I need the abba, my dad did. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, then and after then the chicken, that, we chicken. had a nice chicken with some quite nice sauce, potato. It was banana, but we avoided that. And <laughs> luckily the sauce didn't taste like a banana. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's very cold today, I think. Mm. Well, well, tonight. Uh, must right be now, zero at least. Must right by now, it's probably like three, four degrees. And then, but tonight it's definitely going to go below freezing point. Uh, yeah. Minus a few degrees, and then tomorrow we climb Barranco Wall, uh, which just goes up to four thousand two hundred meters. Yeah. Uh, but then we go back down to three. No, four thousand two hundred. Yeah, that's what it said. You said two four. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, four thousand two hundred, and then we go back down and sleep at three thousand nine hundred and ninety-five. Yeah. Uh, so. Only but, just a bit higher. Yeah. And neither of neither of us are feeling any altitude sickness. Like yeah. Uh, which is. But some of our neighbours are. Good. Some of our neighbours are. We just saw some guy throw ups. Um, but shame, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, and totally another guy yeah. being rushed down the mountain. Oh yeah, some guy yeah. was yeah. walking down the mountain. I mean, there was a random helicopter that flew around camp. I think they were just showing off. There. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it was um, overall a good yeah. day. I enjoyed it. It was a nice hike today. Actually. Yes. And tomorrow apparently is our shortest day, but it's very steep. I yeah. Think. The uh, Barranco 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 Wall. Barranco yeah, Wall. Up and down. Yeah. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our third night of Dom and my video report and giving you some feedback on how today went. Um, we've officially arrived at um, camp number three, which is called Karanga Camp. We're currently at 3,995 meters. Um, we didn't, haven't come up that much, only about 100 meters in total from where we slept last night, but it's just part of our acclimatization. Um, we had a good hike today. Um, we walked for about four and a half hours. Um, started off with climbing a, a 300 meter cliff, really, called Barranco Wall. Um, I think if you don't like heights, you wouldn't have enjoyed that at all. <laughs> yeah. um, but it was quite spectacular, I must say. And um, there were even parts where you really had to hug the mountain as you put your feet yeah. around to get over, <laughs> over certain corners and that, um, which was good fun. The day started off super cold this morning. I think at some point Dom couldn't feel yeah. his hands anymore. <laughs> I think I lost one of my fingers, but uh, <laughs> after, afterwards I found it again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But eventually, once we started walking, then we, we started getting a little bit of heat and, and um, warmed up a little bit. And eventually we got high enough on the mountain that we'd reach the sunshine, which then it changes everything and it actually got really warm. boiling it to take yeah. off a few layers. Yeah, we yeah. peeled off our clothing slowly but surely. Um, but a beautiful walk again. Um, and just nice to see we're now in the, what's the zone? The Al Al Alpine, Alpine, Alpine Desert. Alpine Desert yeah. region, yeah. So not too many plants, um, very little wild, um, animals, although we've seen a few, quite a lot of crows. And pigeons. And pigeons. And with red we, eyes. With very red eyes. So yeah. one mouse. As well. And we saw a striped uh, black back striped mouse or something like that. It was a mouse, yeah. Yes, a mouse, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, in camp. Um, there's not as many people in this camp as at the last one. The last one, there were probably a good hundred people. This one, maybe a bit less. Um, and, uh, but still very busy and lots of noise outside, but a nice vibe, you know. Um, we haven't met any South Africans yet, eh? Hey? No, we haven't, not yet. No, we haven't met any South Africans. We met, we've met people who have been to the South Africa. Yes, everyone we meet uh, says, oh, I've been to South Africa. <laughs> but no yeah. one wants to go back much. <laughs> notice. Yeah. Um, but today we met people... A lot of them asked if it was safe. <laughs> yes, yeah. 
Poland and France and America. Korea. And We met some Korea, funny Korean people. Some, yeah, yeah. Uh, quite a few Americans, funny enough. That sounded pretty racist. I mean, like, they, they had humor. Uh, not that they would look funny. Or yes, yeah, yeah. Some nice guys, and, and it was nice to be able to share some jokes. There quite a few people on the mountain, which, which adds to the atmosphere, I must say. So it, it does, as much as you would think that it's nice to have it to yourself, it's, it's actually lack of to have them around. Um, and we, yeah, I think we got to camp probably at about. 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock um, this afternoon mm. and really had the afternoon to rest. We actually had a little siesta after lunch again. And, and don't forget to mention the valley that we almost died going uh, yes, down. Yeah, there was a, yeah, we could see the, the camp in the distance and we thought, oh cool, we're nearly there, it's not far to go. And there was this massive valley between wherever we were and, and camp that we needed to go down. But it must have been like a hundred, no more, 200 yeah. meters straight on yeah. into this most beautiful ravine or on valley slippery where, sand yeah <laughs> and all, I mean the river had ice flowing down it it was like it was super cold down there as well and then we had to climb up back up the other side again that took like, which was an, easier than coming down actually. An hour, <laughs> yeah an hour unto itself just to do that little ravine but but very pretty and, and we did manage to take some cool photos along the way yeah. um, and in the afternoon we just rested and had a little siesta not for long actually only about half an hour um, explored a bit, sorted our bags and our tent and, and again just continued to eat like kings. Um, <laughs> we just finished dinner yeah. now, we had carrot soup and um, chicken wings and pizza, a piece thing. of pizza, yeah. all the starters and then we moved on to mains which was a bit of a beef um, curry. Yeah, yeah, beef curry or beef stroganoff kind of thing with rice and um, and a banana. Every meal has got a banana, <laughs> which I've yet to eat one, but Tom quite likes them, these yeah. little mini bananas. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. I don't know if you can see my hand when I get a big. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only thing is now, this evening, now the clouds have rolled in, so gone are the clear skies, and um, we, we've been sitting in the clouds now for the last two, three hours. Yeah, we're like right by um, the mountain where we can't even see it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we've lost sight of the mountain completely now, and, and, and as a result, it's turned super, super cold. So we're dreading tonight a little bit. Um, anyway, but we'll get through it. Um, yeah, we're not, we don't sleep particularly well, and you need to wake up at least twice, once or twice during the night to go for a wee, which is such a mission to get out of the tent and, and get to the toilet. Um, I don't think we mentioned to you that we, we did make a very clever decision of hiring our own private toilet. For $100? I mean, yeah, yeah we paid I think a, we mentioned the first mentioned one. on night one, I think yeah. so. We paid $100 for the toilet, and still is the best $100 we've agreed all the, every night that this is the best hundred dollars we've spent all along because the, the toilets are really a shambles and super far uh, yeah and, <laughs> and far and cold and stinky and and literally just a hole in the ground <laughs> um other than that yeah tomorrow morning we we wake up a, a little bit a, a bit a bit later tomorrow we've got um and uh we're only Our extra up at seven instead yeah, of six yeah instead of six as it has been um we have a shorter walk so we walk uh, only for about well, it's about four hours tomorrow. Yeah, so we go up to 4,600 meters tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll be at yeah, 4,600, which is the highest we'll have been by a long way. I think we've peaked today at about 4,200. Yeah, the top of Barranca wall was 4,200. Four. Yeah. yeah. Um, so tomorrow, 4,600 meters. Um, it's going to be super cold when we get there, apparently. Um, we'll spend the afternoon there, and we'll have a really early dinner. Then it'll be like at 5 o'clock. Um, so we'll do an early video message for you guys, um, but we need to try and get to bed at about six, um, half past six, and w which as soon as it gets dark, and we will wake up at a eleven, twelve around then yeah, and start so, for the summit. Yeah, and we'll yeah, so we'll wake up, woken up a couple of hours later, and we'll start the the how long? Six hours, nine six, hours, six, six hours, six or seven hour trek from there to the top, um, yeah. and hopefully hit there at about seven o'clock on Saturday morning. Yeah. But we'll fill you in more about that tomorrow after tomorrow's hike. Yeah. Okay, I think we, we're going to go and get, have, a, have a Milo quickly and uh, get ready for bed. Um, thinking from, of everyone back at home and, and sending lots of love. Okay, okay, cheers from Dom and I. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can't find the button. Oh, there. Hi, uh, today we reached Barafu Hut, also known as Base Camp. So it's the final camp before we reach the summit. It is uh, Friday today, the 29th of June, in the year 2018, but I'm not sure that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we are at 4,673 meters today, above sea level, and uh, yeah, the hike was nice, it was slow, it wasn't far, but it was, and it was quite flat for a while, but then it was also very steep. Um, 
but it was nice. It was a good hike and everything. I enjoyed it. And yeah, I think I'm feeling a bit of a headache. Uh, not too bad though. I did take some medicine, so it's going away. Uh, and the camp is very nice. It's quite big, but then we just saw Ashante town moved, which was a like a whole thing of tents with Ashante on it. We just called it Ashante town. Um, and yeah, we just, the weather was quite is quite cold and hot when the because there's lots of clouds now. So, and tonight we're reaching the summit, or technically tomorrow morning, because it's at midnight that we're going. They're going to wake, uh, they wake us up at 11. Yeah, we're waking up at 11 tonight. So it's only, what is it now? It's 5.35, so we're going to probably, so probably going to go to bed by half past six, get some four and a half hours sleep, and then we reach for the summit, and hopefully get there for the sunrise, and then come back down, and then go to Mweka camp at 3,100 meters afterwards tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're should, a bit nervous. It should take us about 17 hours of walking tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a long yeah. day tomorrow. Super long day. Yeah. But, yeah, I think yeah. we're ready though. Yes. We ate nicely, like always. Yeah. Then, there's no more life now. Yeah, there's like no more, except for crows and one mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw a mouse again. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But no plants, no, just rock. Yeah, just rock. Yeah. Yeah. And every time the clouds come by, pass, it yes, just yeah, gets, it gets freezing. freezing when there's a cloud coming yeah, past. They're not, Although, we're they're in not like a second set of clouds. So there's the normal clouds which are above, and then there's another set of clouds that yeah. we're inside. Yeah, so the next layer of clouds hey, that yeah. are super cold. Yeah. They're not warm and fluffy like they look like. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, other than that, yeah. Yes, I think we're both feeling quite strong. Oh, in the afternoon, we went for another walk to go to oh, climate yes, time. to like let's say probably about 5,000 meters no it's 4,900 around there I think okay around there and then we just came back down yeah um, yeah again so I think that we walked the the, the start of tomorrow mornings yeah we walked walk. the start although tomorrow, what, in the light though so tomorrow yeah. we'll be using headlamps to be able to see yeah and that's yeah. a super steep part that we've done um, yeah. just to practice hey mm, just to climb it yeah yeah and we met a lot of people um, who didn't look particularly yeah, happy. Yeah, a lot of people who were struggling on today's <laughs> yeah. walk. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the ones coming down, there were a lot that said they were quite sick at the top. But everybody we spoke to said they made it. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, very nice. Yeah, yeah, we've met a lot of nice people. Eh? Yeah. Everyone we meet is, is very friendly, mm. yeah. um, but still not one South African. Sure, that's true. Eh? Only lots of Americans. Yeah, and I'm the youngest one on the mountain at the moment. Yes, we haven't we seen We saw it. on the register that the other youngest was 19 years old. So. Yes, yeah. yeah. So it's 17. It's well done, eh? Yeah. All right, so... Yeah, okay, that's just about it. Not much more. We'll see you on the other side of the summit. Yeah. Eh? All right, we'll chat to you tomorrow from Weka. Wish us luck. Okay. Okay, cheers all. Bye. Love, bye. Bye. Okay, we're up. Okay, so today we arrived at the hotel uh, from Kilimanjaro. It's the 1st of July in the year 2018, but I'm sure you know. Um, <laughs> so yesterday, or well, last night, yeah, last night we summited, no, no, the night before last night, we summited to the top of Kilimanjaro to Uhuru Peak, and both of us made it successfully. Uh, yeah, so we woke up at about 11 o'clock the night before, and uh, got ready, had some popcorn and biscuits for breakfast with some coffee and then we went off at about 12 we started climbing in the dark with our headlamps and all our kit we had five layers on top, four layers at the bottom both our gloves on and uh, two pairs of socks and boots and everything walking poles, it was very cold but and dark but it was fine, the moonlight actually made it quite bright so we could see everything uh, and the walk wasn't too bad it was quite nice in the dark uh, it was quite cold already, but there were lots of people climbing. So, but I don't know, we we went quite quickly, so we passed a lot of people, uh, and we passed a few people until we Hit got the to the snow. snow. I enjoyed it until we got to the snow, and it was my first time seeing snow, being on snow. So I pr probably would have preferred to be on snow when it was flat instead of like an angle like this, because it was quite <laughs> scary. Because um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so just the grip and having to learn what snow feels like it was very hard it was, I wasn't expecting it to be that hard um, and slippery and slippery yeah you had to if you misplace, misplace your foot you would slip down and um, eventually got to a very steep point that if you 
slipped, you were going down, you'd slide down the whole mountain. So it was very scary. Um, at one point I did slip, but then uh, Yessi and Musini grabbed my arm and pulled me up. So, so that was very scary. Um, and it was very exhausting, but eventually we made it to Stella Point. Oh, I forgot to mention that my, I think I almost lost both my hands because they were so cold. I think my dad almost lost all his toes as well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we made it to Stella Point eventually and we had hot water to drink, to warm up our bodies. And yeah, Stella Point was very difficult to get to. But once we made it, we were, Stella Point was about 5,730 something meters high. And um, yeah, well, I was breathing fine. I just found that if you, did, if you did something too quickly, then you'd be out of breath very quickly. But other than that, if you were just slow, you could still breathe semi-normally. It was a bit difficult, but, um, but the wind on your face was very cold. I'm sure it was at least minus 10, minus 12 at the top there. And then we climbed. So then, yeah, it was, we got to Stella Point, and then we climbed on some nice hard snow. And then, then from Stella Point to Uhura Peak, which is the top, to, uh, that was actually a very nice hook, uh, hike. It took about an hour. Yeah. So, yeah, we hiked in the snow. That was very nice. It was beautiful. And it was still dark, actually. We did it very quickly. Um, so we arrived, and then we arrived at Uhura Peak before sunrise, even. Quarter to six. Yeah, at quarter to six. And yeah. so we waited there for a while until we saw the sunrise come. I don't know how long. Maybe we were up there for 20 minutes, half yeah. an hour, around. 20 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes. Took a lot of photos if you, and everything. But it was saw very the nice. sunrise. And watched the sunrise, which was absolutely amazing. And saw all the glaciers and stuff. Yeah. Which was very cool. Yeah. And then. Yeah, that was was very nice. It was a great feeling. Yeah. And none of us were sick. We were just a bit tired, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but none of us got sick. But you could see when the sun came up in the snow where a lot of people had yeah. previously been sick. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You could see, like, vomit stains below, yeah. in the snow. In the yeah. snow. It wasn't a very nice Yuck. thing. Yeah. But, yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, a lot of other people were struggling as we were. As yeah. we made it and stuff like that, but it was nice. We keep motivating, and a lot of people were uh, congratulated us, and we motivated them to get there while we were coming down. Yeah, and coming down was very scary. <laughs> yeah, um, it was very steep on the snow. I, I did have like these rubber crampons. Crampons they didn't work very well, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, um, they, I think they just gave me a bit more confidence <laughs> on the snow. Yeah, um, but yeah, they helped, and then we got down. Uh, eventually and then we got to this like sandy type of part after the snow there was no more snow and sure that was a killer on the the legs <laughs> especially yeah i think both of us fell quite a few times yeah and slid down this just slide yeah and you get sand everywhere or felt dirty just sand in your nose and your mouth and your ears yes. everywhere no, it wasn't a great feeling and then but after all of that then some of the porters came and helped carry our bags uh and then we made it back to camp at around, I'm not sure, about 9 o'clock, half past 9. 10, 10, 10 we arrived, 10 o'clock, yeah, okay. so it took us 10 hours to get up and down. Yeah, yeah. which is the average actually, it's supposed yes. to be 7 up and 3 down. 3 down, so, yeah. So we, we were quite quick, but then we took a long time coming we, down. We, yes, and, yeah, yeah. and we just, spent a lot of time, more time than usual at the top, because yes, we got yeah. there early, we had to wait for the sunrise. Mm, I think you're supposed to only spend like 5, 10 minutes yes, at the top, but we yeah. spent like 20 minutes. So. Yeah, it's not easy to hang around in minus... 10 or 12 degrees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dad actually had to take his gloves off and replace the battery yeah. for the camera because it was frozen and it didn't work. Yeah, the camera <laughs> froze. Can you believe it? One yeah. of the cameras. Luckily, we had a backup camera. Yeah, we camera. had a backup one, which was my small little one. Um, yeah. But yeah, so we got a few nice photos. We're still waiting for them to be sent and everything yes. to our phone, phones and stuff. Yeah. Um, and, then and then, yeah, we, just we had a rest eh, for yeah, two then hours. We rested for about an hour and then yes. we had lunch. And they, well, not, we weren't very hungry. Yeah. Uh, and then, <laughs> we hardly ate. Yeah. And um, then we carried back on then. So then, after that, then it was around 12 or so. Yes, so exactly had, 12. So then yeah. we had to wake up again, eat lunch, and then we still had to carry on for another few hours down. Yeah, to, another four hours. Yeah, so we went back to Barafu Hut from the top, which is 4,000. So we're, we're at 5,895 meters, and then back to 4,600. And then from 4,600, we had to go to 3,100, all in the same day. Yeah. So, and that was also, I, I think I got a bit of my energy back. Um, so I was fine. I, I was just struggling with my knees a bit. But then um, I think Dad was struggling with his toes quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, my, my <laughs> toes could had defrosted and then got beaten up on the way down. Yeah. So by then my feet were exhausted, eh? Yeah. And we did 
just under 40,000 steps. Yeah, I think it was like 38,000 yeah, steps. Yeah, for the, for the day, which is an incredible amount. And I, th um, I think we walked in total for 15 hours Yeah. Eh, yeah. in that day. Yeah, so it was a long day. Um, yeah. But it was a great achievement. And then What a feeling. Yeah, then yeah. we went to camp, had dinner as usual and everything. In the clouds again. And yeah, we're in the clouds in like the type of forest. Yeah. And then we slept, woke up, and uh, woke up at our... Six, six, again, yeah, six this time. morning, yeah. And then, yeah, it was very nice. All the porters and the guides and everybody, they get a nice celebration and song and everything, and even baked a cake somehow. Yeah, time. somehow in the mountain. They gave us a bottle of wine the night before. Even. Yes, we had a bottle of South African wine. Uh, yeah. yeah, we had a few glasses and then gave the rest to the porters. Yeah. That was awesome, eh? Yeah. And then, yeah, so that was today. Yeah. And then we carried on back down and then. Got to the this hotel. About two and a half hours today, yeah, hey? Two and a half, three hours. I think it's, it was 10 k's that mm -hmm. we walked in yeah. about two and a half hours, yeah. yeah. And then we got to the bottom of Mweka Gate and then they drove us back to the hotel from there. Yeah. Um, and then we didn't have enough money to pay the port. Well, we did, we did not in cash. So then dad had to take a taxi, but there was no taxi, so he had to get on the back of a motorbike taxi. <laughs> and he, then he rode into the center of Moshi and drew some shillings. I think like 410,000 shillings yeah, or something. Yeah, 410,000 shillings, which was worth about $180. Yeah, so, <laughs> and then came back. We, we learned today that it, it takes $400 would make you a millionaire in in, in um, Tanzania. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then we just had a relaxing time at the hotel and now and yeah. dinner and everything. And now we we're about to go packed to again for the last time, yes. thanks, thankfully. Yeah. yeah, we're super excited to not be living out of bags anymore. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. 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 I only had the greatest shower ever. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we don't smell anymore. It's so nice to appreciate having a toilet and a basin yeah. and, and running water and, and air yeah. <laughs> just to breathe properly. <laughs> yeah. What a great feeling, eh? Yeah. yeah, and food that's not just pretty much only carbs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Eat some protein. Yeah. Uh, and, a, and a beer. And a, well, we yes, had two and beers. Beer and finally a Coke as well. So. Yeah, Coke and yeah. beer was what we were craving. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, now we're about to go to bed yeah. and wake up for the morning to go to the airport. Yes, yeah, we're going to wake up just before five and uh, well, uh, and then have some breakfast and six we leave eh? yeah. for the airport. Yeah, yeah. So that's Same. just about it. Yes. In a summary. But it's been an amazing adventure. Eh? The yes. super fast, how long in total? Eight days that we will have been away. Eh? Yes. Uh, Six on the mountain and... No, five nine. on the mountain and two in, in the hotel. So seven nights that we've been away. Eight yeah. days. Eh? Yeah. But shame. Thank you, Dom. And thank you for me. I think yes, it's been a you. great feeling. And... Um, and as we've said before, I don't think there's anyone in the world I would rather have shared it with than with you. So yes, thank, thank you. you. We've waited 15 years and we made it happen. Yeah. So cheers <laughs> to us. Eh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the end of our adventure. Okay. And we look forward to seeing you all at home. Okay. Bye. Hey. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Ciao. And in the cold and that altitude like this, it's been a good experience. And Dominic's still at school, you know, so, so for him to be here from school, it's completely something new to, to be here. And I think having shared the week with, with all 10, 11 of you, it's been a fantastic experience just to learn a little bit more about nature, about Africa, and about ourselves, you know, how far we can push. And thanks to all of you that we've, we've been able to do that successfully. Kilimanjaro, 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 Kilimanjaro,